Hello everyone on the internet and whoever's watching. My name is Ryan and today we're going to be doing a review of a plush. Now, uh, I haven't been uploading in a while because, well, like, it's been, it's been two weeks. But uh, I haven't uploaded in a while because I get, I've been having a little bit of family problems. And um, yeah, so I've been, it's been kind of hard to upload videos because I'm just like, uh, I can't really go outside to do videos because like uh uh for, for some re uh for reasons that i prefer not to like speak out right now but i really want to get back into making videos uh just for a little bit until i probably like take another break again it's because i have one one reaction already like uploaded and stuff like that but the problem is i don't i haven't uploaded it yet that's the the problem of it so I will get the reaction uploaded as soon as possible and then possibly a video of it. And again, let me know what you want me to react to because um, I'll basically react to anything. I don't, I don't really care at this point. Uh, but anyways, we're going to be doing a review on a plush uh, that's... Honestly, I really didn't think there was a part 2 to it, a game of it. So anyways, let's get right into it. Honestly, I don't know why I'm filming this video because it's literally 4... Hold on, what time is it? Let me, let me check the time. It's 4.37 a.m. Uh, at night right here. So, I don't know why I'm awake, but, you know, why not? Let's make the review because, um, because actually this was supposed to be a part two video where it's like part one of today and then tomorrow part was going to be a part two of it. I wasn't going to uh, uh, do like one video right now and then upload another video. Like I'm talking about like... This is a clip of day one and then the other clip of day two, but the plushies come in today. So I, I have three plush I'm reviewing and that's why you, if you see the title, you will like, it's because I didn't specifically put the, the characters names because it's just like, uh, like Bendy in the ink machine. So yeah, anyways, let's get right into it. So the plush we have reviewing today is Alice Angel. Now, honestly, I don't have the original plush and when I saw this available I was just like ooh this is this is actually very cool because I know this is probably supposed to be like the evil version of Alice Angel but I still want to like if I ever use her for a video I want to prefer to her as the, the nice one more than the the evil one but I don't know let, uh, let me know what you think so here she is she is actually a very nice quality plush I really love this plush and just having just having the the sort of similar like thing from the black and white one because if you don't know they had black and white versions of them uh, when the game first came out and yeah i was honestly gonna get them same with the fnaf plush but i never got a chance to get them because <laughs> my mom didn't believe i liked this type of stuff uh like as in like she didn't think I liked scary stuff because all the stuff I liked as a kid was like a bunch of scary stuff. Not too scary, like movies, but I'm talking about like scary games. I'm talking about like Baldi's Basics and uh, Hello Neighbor. And yeah, she just never really believed. It's because they're not scary games, but they're like horror games. So yeah, but Benny and the Ink Machine actually, there is kind of some scariness to it, but yeah. Anyways, the design to the face is amazing. The tag is beautiful. I When I saw the tag, I was just like, oh my god. Like, it is so perfect. Why did I say it like that? Oh my goodness. Anyways, but yeah, here's the tag. The tag is actually very nice. I really like it. And it's of Bendy's beautiful face. And uh, um, yeah, there's the, the tag number thing. And then Jack Specific. This is actually a very weird Jack Specific tag because normally they have like the the branding of it and that and this is like cardboard this is a cardboard tag and same with this one this is not like a average tag so hold on for example this is cardboard too but like this is more thin cardboard and yes i have the elephant mario with me um uh, so and then this like it feels a little bit harder so yeah, anyways, we're going to be doing a comparison to my other Bendy and Ink Machine blush. Now, actually, I do have two, but two of them are only from the, the recolors, which is aka the the uh, the waste of money thing. So what I mean by waste of money is uh, Funko. Popo? Bartol? How you doing? 
Okay. Funko wanted to make uh, these plushies where it's like a recolor of it and a restyle version of it. Which honestly, I don't understand why. Now, I have Boris and... Um, and for some reason, I also got Boris as well, so, um, of the color of that. So you'll be seeing that soon. And then here we got Sammy Lawrence, or I know his name's Sammy. I don't, I don't remember if his last name was Warrens or something like that. But here he is. I actually, like, if I do do a Bendy in the Ink Machine video or something similar to it, I actually want to use this as Sammy because there, it, there was another version of this that was like that color, but it was. Uh, was out of stock because this game honestly like the the funko plush are like very like they're very uh like it depends what game it is if it's finance of freddy's or benny and the ink machine then like obviously yeah like <laughs> you see them out of stock everywhere and uh, same with the baldy's basics uh, like plush because i actually wanted to do a baldy's basic video but the problem is there's no plushie of most of the, the characters the only plushies there are of the characters is the bully uh, plate and the playtime girl and Baldi. There's actually two versions of Baldi where it's like him angry and then him like just happy. But I wanted the angry one because I just wanted him to be like, I don't know. I would have probably got two either way. But yeah, I was obviously never able to do that video. I was gonna get this idea where I could have done something to my Luigi and made him into a uh, into a Baldi, but I scrapped the idea because he's not really bald. He's like. Like he has a um, a small head of hair, like what like some professors have. Like they have a little bit of hair and stuff like that. But Baldi actually doesn't have hair; he just has one strain of hair. Anyways, back to the review. So, anyways, so this is uh the Sammy Lawrence I got, and this is the Boris the Wolf I got from I want to say twenty twenty one or t or twenty twenty two. I don't remember when I got them, but this is like um. This is a, it was a while back, and uh, yeah, I got him on vacation, and uh, yeah, it was honestly one of the best uh, things I ever got on my vacation, because it was like one of my first Benny and the Machine plush, and it was just amazing. That was the same thing for the Cuphead plushie that I got, and that's another thing, the Cuphead plush, like, I can't find them in stores, like, that's what I try to go for the most, I want to find them in stores, because, uh, like, online stores... It's just like you can get scammed sometimes because I got this Plants vs. Zombies plush from Amazon. And by the way, Amazon is literally a scam when it comes to the Funko plush or just any like almost official plush. Like there's sometimes you can like you can get scammed by this stuff because there's sometimes they don't even tell you when it's real or not on the on the listing thing. So, for example, if you order a Finance of Freddy's plushie, there's sometimes you can actually get a like a bootleg or like it's like cheaply made and stuff like that so yeah again you still have a good chance for amazon though like i i don't say like amazon's too much of a doubt but it's still a, a pretty good source kind of when it comes to the mario plush so there's that too so with sammy you can take off his um his mask and you can see his very ugly face only a face that a mother can love and then boris um, honestly, I really love the Boris. He was so cool. And they actually also have Bendy in this color thing. I don't know if they have a... Uh, oh my goodness. So if you don't know, I like Cuphead and Bendy. So those were like... like That was actually one of the biggest like battles between them. Like Bendy and Cuphead. Which in my opinion, I feel like Bendy would win. Because like he's a demon after all. But... Cuphead has gone on uh, he has gone against the devil himself so you know you can decide on that uh but to me it would be it would be bendy but anyways back back to this there was I don't know if there's actually a uh, a Alice Angel what I was saying though was I kept calling her Miss Chalice and I was like oh my god <laughs> is because it's like the the girl not the girl version of Bendy, but just like the the alternate like of like the girl character of the series, if you get what I mean on that. Um, the main character basically. But yeah. And uh actually I've this is gonna sound really like <laughs> upsetting and like again stupid, but I've actually never played Bendy in the Ink Machine. I've only just watched it from videos and stuff like that. And honestly I really still wanna play the game because I wanna play part one 
that's the same thing with Breath of the Wild, uh, Legend of Zelda, because I actually have a Link plush, but I don't know that much about Legend of Zelda. But I really do want to get to know more about the games and stuff like that. But the problem is, it's just when it when it comes to games, it it's really hard for me to remember what it is because I can only know so low characters. Like for example, like most of the time, I actually do forget some of the Mario characters and some of the Sonic characters. And uh, yeah, just like uh, just like uh, it's because I when I did my reaction, there was a character who popped up, and it was a Sonic character, and I don't again I. I'm really bad with names, so obviously it's either I don't remember the name or something like that. Yeah, and that's the same thing with like Kirby and stuff like that. Anyways, back to this. So, anyways, this plush is actually like very holdable and stuff like that. So that's why I like it. It's like you can position and stuff like that. She's got the little horns and the hair can go back. I wouldn't recommend moving it though. And uh, yeah. I really like this though because it does represent her game appearance more than her cartoon appearance. Which, honestly, I like the game appearance more than, again, the cartoon. But yeah, honestly, she really does look like the um, the posters in the, in the game and stuff like that. Anyways, so with um, this, it's basically almost all the gangs here. What I was saying earlier though was there is actually a bendy of this, but someone else got it and um, I couldn't get it anymore. But again... My again, my mom really thought that I that I didn't like this stuff, or also because she didn't like it, and the things that she like again, it's uh, it's what she's buying me. But again, it's just like uh, she asked me like, what do I, uh, what do I want from like uh, like a plush or something like that? But I say like I like these plush. She's like, oh no, like I don't want to get that because literally I I was told her one time I was just like, hey, can I get a Chucky plushie? Or like a Chucky like doll or something like that. She was like, no. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> she thinks I don't like scary stuff. She thinks I like like SpongeBob and stuff like that. And conveniently, I have a SpongeBob right there. But, anyways, so yeah, that's with that. And if you're wondering what the two other plush is coming in, it's actually Bending Boris, just like I mentioned with this. And uh, yeah, honestly, I don't know if I'll ever get the the Bendy of this because. I mean, I remember already getting a bendy that's very similar to this and stuff like that. So I I don't know if I really want to get a bendy at this point. But uh, yeah, anyways, so this is just a clip of day one, and you can already imagine my it's it's already at tw uh, twelve minutes, and I can already imagine how long it's gonna take for me to review because like I I talk too much. Anyways, here's another good look at the tag because I couldn't get it right there. Yeah, there it is. And Bendy's looking amazing. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, so that is it for the day one. And we'll go on to day two. Alright, it is 11.23pm at night. And um, right now we're going to be doing the rest of the review of the plush. So let's get into it. So I just got them a few hours ago. And, uh, so, yeah. Anyways, let's get right into the review. So... First up we have is Bendy, the Inca Demon himself. Now this plush is just amazing and I I love it because like it looks so it, lo it looks so detailed from the uh from the face and just the the ink splatter or the cuts all over his um gloves and yeah, I really love these tags. But what's weird is this tag the, this is the only tag it came with. If you know the the Alice Angel, it came with this tag too, like the security tag in the Jack Specific. So I know this is still official because this this is literally the same thing as this. But I don't. I'm not, I'm not certain. I, I know it's official though. I, I know it. I, I believe it. Point is. I don't really care if it's not official that much because I honestly just love these plush and just the attention to detail to it is just amazing. Never mind. This this is the tag that that says it all. Anyways, back to this. So yeah, with this, like honestly, it kinda like resembles the again, like I said, the the game appearance, which honestly I like that more than the cartoon appearance. Just, that's just my opinion. 
but if I were to have an opportunity to get these plush again, like if it's the the cartoon versions, then I would actually try to get them because there is actually some other Bendy in the Ink Machine plush that are black and white, and I would be like, how does that make sense though? Because like at the same time, like the more you think about it, it's just like why would those be black and white, and then these are just like the yellow, um, yellow and black. So I'm talking about the the Smither gang. I I don't know what, what was the name of the gang. But it was uh, these... Uh, oh my goodness. Yes, please excuse me for literally confusing Cuphead. And literally this. Like, a story about like uh, an ink demon. And then this about the devil. Well, actually, kind of a little bit similar. Not really. Anyways, back to it. So what I was saying, though, was... Um, so... <laughs> you want to forget it. But back to the plush. Uh, again, I will refer to him as the as Bendy himself. And yeah... Again, my favorite part of this plush is just the the the, the face itself. It looks so cool, and um, the bow tie is very cool. And yeah, I like it a lot. And uh, just from that angle, you can tell it's the worst thing in the world. Bendy. Next up, we got is Boris the Wolf. Now, honestly, I really love Boris, and he was actually one of my favorite um, Bendy and the Ink Machine characters. And, uh, yeah, because, like, Boris was just, like, such an innocent character and stuff like that. But it was sad that he died and stuff like that. And, uh, I don't know if it's actually a good thing that he has the ink splattered on him. Because the more I think about it, uh, this kind of resembles when he turned evil. When, uh, Alice Angel turned him evil. So, yeah. But again, I'll still refer, prefer to him as Boris the Wolf. And, uh, well, I mean, also at the same time, the more you think about it, Boris, like, when he was the, the monster thing, he was a lot bigger, and he had, like, a dog, um, uh, like, a dog thing on it. I forgot what was it called, but it was, like, a dog thing where it's, like, around their neck when something's wrong with their neck or just, like, after an injury or something like that. So he basically had that, kind of, but, uh, yeah, again, I'll still prefer to him as Boris the Wolf, and, yeah. The attention to detail on this plush, though, is just amazing, and... There's his ass. Okay, come on. You can't say, like, that literally looks like his ass. <laughs> his butt. <laughs> Back to the plush. And it is just the ink splatter on it is so cool. And, uh, yeah. And there's his inky little hands. I don't even think inky is such a word. But whatever. There's the face. Honestly, the face is, like, it looks... It looks like Boris. Like, the other one... I want to say real quick, the other one doesn't look like Boris all that much. So this, I honestly think this was actually the, this was mo more related to the original Boris the Wolf. Same with uh, Sammy. So Sammy is also like the same average size of the Bendy plush. Now with these, I feel like they're a lot bigger than the original ones. That That's just on my opinion because I actually don't have the original. Like I mentioned earlier. So I don't have the original to compare it to. Which is that honestly kind of. That kind of sucks at the same time. Because like I would love to do a comparison. To see if it's actually the same size. But yet again like I said. It could be the same size or not. So yeah. And also if you have these plush. Let me know and uh, if it's the same size or not. And uh, yeah. Or else I can literally just search up the original plush. And just see the size of it. Like see the number of it. And see. But anyways. Well, that, that is it for the review, and let me know what plush is your favorite. Do you like Boris? Do you like Bendy? Or do you like, uh, oh my god, I keep calling her Miss Chalice, and it's pissing me off. It's making me so, f I, oh, you don't want to swear as much. Uh, I, it's making me very angry, and, <laughs> oh my god, uh, Alice Angel, Alice Angel, Alice Angel, there. I got it stuck in my mind now, and now I'm not going to refer to her as Miss Chalice. Even though she doesn't even look like a damn chalice. Like, she's literally, like... I mean, also, that could just be a name for her, but still. Alice Angel. Anyways, that is it for the review. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And more videos actually will be coming soon. It's just, I, again, I've been a little bit busy with family. And, uh, yeah, I promise I will come back to making videos because I already have a reaction uploaded and everything. 
And uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll actually upload this first or my reaction, but you'll know until this video releases or the reaction video releases. So again, let me know what you think about the plush. And do you have any of the Bendy and the Ink Machine plush? And uh, yeah, and that's all I have to say. And I'll see everyone in the next video. All right, bye everyone.